హలో జియస్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఇట్స్ మీ మిస్ లిన్సీ యువర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ టీచర్ నైస్ టు మీట్ యూ అగైన్ ఓకే నౌ వెల్కమ్ టు ద వర్ల్డ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ సో బిఫోర్ వి బిగిన్ లెట్స్ ఆస్ ద బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ గాడ్ ది ఓల్ మై టీ సో దాట్ లెట్ హిస్ హోలీ స్పిరిట్ అండ్ లెట్ ఇన్ అస్ హెల్ప్ అస్ అండ్ గైడ్ అస్ డియర్ చిల్డ్రన్ Today we are going to start with another poem The Rebel penned on by DJ Enright who was born in 11th March 1920 in Royal Leamington UK He was a poet novelist and a translator He has written a wide range of essays reviews poems and children's books He has won Queen's gold medal for poetry so now before we begin the poem we will discuss the word rebel what do you mean by rebel ha huh? rebel is a person who always does the opposite of what others do so a rebel is a person who always love to follow different path he never likes to obey the rules and regulations of the society as he wanted to be different from others now we will move on to the poem let me read the first four lines for you when everybody has short hair the rebel lets his hair grow long when everybody has long hair The rebel cuts his hair short. So here in the given lines the poet highlights the rebel's nature. When the rebel encounters or sees a group of people with a short hair he would allow his hair to grow long because he derives or gets pleasure and satisfaction by going against the grain but he is not constant that means when he sees people growing their hair long he would cut his hair short so he just does opposite to what others do we will move on to the next four lines children we will read it together when everybody talks during the lesson the rebel doesn't say a word when nobody talks during the lesson the rebel creates a disturbance here it says that when he sees everybody talking during the lesson the rebel would be keeping quiet but when he sees that everybody else has become quiet he would start talking and disturb the whole class thus doing the just opposite of what others are doing children we will read the next four lines when everybody wears a uniform The rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. In these lines, the rebel exhibits as different because he wants to showcase himself as different. So, he would wear colorful clothes when everybody else is dressed up in a common uniform however the moment he sees others dressed up in different and colorful clothes he would be wearing uniform thus finding pleasure in doing so let me read the next four lines for you in the company of dog lovers The rebel expresses a preference for cats. In the company of cat lovers, 
the rebel puts in a good word for dogs here it says that when the rebel finds himself in the company of dog lovers he begins to prefer the cats on the other hand when he is surrounded by cat lovers he will put in a favorable word for dogs his preferences and choices never seem to match with anyone else in the group children i will read the next four lines when everybody is praising the sun the rebel remarks on the need for rain when everybody is greeting the rain the rebel regrets the absence of sun even with the respect to the weather it is difficult to bring the rebel with others when others would be praising the sun he would be praising the rain and when others would be enjoying the rain he would be praising the sun thus always becoming a different person children we will continue with the next four lines when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel stays at home and reads a book when everybody stays at home and reads a book the rebel goes to the meeting so here in these lines the poet highlights that the rebels are usually alone so when others go for meeting he stays back at home and read his favorite books whereas when others stay at home he goes to the meeting we will move on to the next four lines when everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you when everybody says no thank you the rebel says yes please here the poet says that it is impossible to make the rebel agree with others so when everybody says yes he would say no but when others say no he would say yes children we will move on to the last two lines of the poem i will read it for you it is very good that we have rebels you may not find it very good to be one here in the concluding lines the poet says that having rebels around us is beneficial as we can acknowledge differences however it's not good to be a rebel because they are not accepted by the society so dear children let's not be a rebel as it is very dangerous when we live in a society it's always good that we go with the majority obeying the rules and regulations of the society to be an acceptable person so dear children hope you could follow me if you liked my video please do like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching